Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Batman Destroys the Justice League with Facts and Logic by Charlie J. Dude, I love Batman and I love the CE in general. I know my fair share about Batman. I don't know everything, but I know my fair share about him. But yeah, let's go. Wait, so Batman, you're saying you should be the leader of the Justice League? That's right. exactly what I'm saying. Well, well hold on, because there'd be a lot to consider. What is there to talk about? I pay for literally everything. Have you seen this place? I mean, this location? It's not cheap, I'll tell you that. Well, that's not a term. Damn right, dude. <laughs> okay. I like this already. Early fair, Bruce. I mean, we pay our fair share from time to time. Mm. Mark, I own the building that you work at. You're paying me with my own money. Well, hold on. Oh, I, shit. I feel like there are other qualifying factors in being a leader of a superhero team. You know, like superpowers. Oh, you really don't want to go down that route. Well, he's got a point there. Yeah, well, what good are powers if their weaknesses outweigh them tenfold? Here we go again with the kryptonite. Bruce, it's a very rare stone. Rare my ass. Everyone has one, Clark. A purse snatcher I stopped the other day had like three of them. <laughs> well, I admit it's become a bit of a You should just be the green one, but now. Bruce, it's a very rare stone. I, li I, like the I like the voice acting in this. Now there's all these other ones. There's the red one, the black one. The pink one? We don't talk about the pink one. He's got you there, Clark. Like you're any better. One of your greatest enemies just freezes the floor and you go flying. You're a seasonal superhero. And you... <laughs> your weakness is the color yellow. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, so what? If the meteor's crashing down to Earth, I'd like to see you stop it. Good point. What are you gonna do? Throw a battering at it? Well, for situations like that, you're right. You're needed. But if you're gonna stop a mugging and the guy's wearing all yellow, what are you gonna do? Fuck you, Bruce. Here's what <laughs> all right, all right, Bruce, we get it. You're pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, Bruce. Honestly, fuck you, bro. Well, but what about Wonder Woman? I mean, she doesn't have any real big weaknesses. Yeah, but I mean, come on, guys. She's a wolf. <laughs> the meeting go, Batman. I didn't even want to be in this stupid group anyway. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So of all the things that he said, the one that he got fired for is being misogynistic. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course, the Justice League is going to be super politically correct. Just the Justice League, okay? I didn't used to like Batman that much growing up, actually. But as I grew older, like, I started to really like him because of his limitations. Like, Batman's a human among superheroes, okay? But this dude... He's smarter than all of them combined. Like, I heard the tapes of Batman and his backup emergency plan in case he needed to ever stop the Justice League. And I saw the movie where somebody else actually steals Batman's plan to stop the Justice League, and it fucking works. That's how good Batman's planning is. I mean, this dude, he may be a normal human, but given enough planning and enough money, which he has, this dude can stop anything. And not only that, he's paranoid as fuck, which is really cool from his character. Like, this dude is so paranoid that he has backup plans for his backup plans. You know what I mean? He has plan B, plan C. That's how meticulous he is and how paranoid he is. And I kind of love that about Batman. Granted, he has some severe childhood traumas because of his parents, but... You know what? I'm gonna be real. If you look at the movie, that was his dad's fault. He was a horrible dad, okay? If you go back and look at that Batman Begins movie, I think it's called, the one with Liam Neeson, go back, go back and watch that movie, okay? Go back and see how his dad acts. His dad acts like he's Mr. Perfect, like he's Mr. Role Model. He's so detached from being an actual father. In that movie, he doesn't speak to Bruce like Bruce is his son. He speaks to Bruce in speeches and like moral grandstanding. That's all he does in the fucking movie. He's like, Dad, why don't you work in the company? Oh, Bruce, I work at the hospital because, you know, I'm practically a saint. I built this train for the people of Cotton. You know, but, you know, I didn't do it for fame or fortune, Bruce. Did you build this train, Dad? Gotham's been good to our family, but the city's been suffering. People less fortunate than us have been enduring very hard times. So we built a new cheap public transportation system to unite the city and at the center, Wayne Tower. Is that where you work? No, I work at the hospital. I leave the running of our company to much better men. Better? Wow. More interested men. It's like, fuck you, okay? Dude, maybe next time you get mugged, or you're gonna get mugged, 
chill. Don't jump in front of your wife when the guy, he startled, he startled the guy that was robbing them. Wallace, Joey, I'm fast. That's fine, just take it easy. Now just take it and go. I said, Joey. Okay, it's his fault. It's Bruce Father. You know what? I'm 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 done with this tangent. Anyway, that was Batman destroys the Justice League with facts and logic by Sally J. <laughs> I really like this. If anybody has any recommendations, please post them in the comments, and I'll be sure to react to it. I'll see you guys later.